everyone. Well, when I was here, and welcome back to TMP Limitless Six. Uh, last episode, we got, uh, got some bioplastic and, and and this stuff set up uh, to make HDPE sheets. Uh, I planted some of the uh, mystical agriculture, just the basic um, inferium seeds down here, and that's doing its thing. We've got some vegetables happening here, so things are ticking along. Uh, so I started looking into what's next in terms of we're going for uh, the singularity thing, I think, right? No, not that one. What are we going for? It was one of the creative thing, creative energy cube, this guy. So we've got a lot of the stuff on the outside. We're all the way in, kind of into here. Nether star blocks, that's not the end of the earth. They're pretty easy to make. Uh, I've got a few nether stars. I don't have tons, but I can get more from um, the mob thing around the back here. The do, 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 this thing, simulation chamber, because we've got the I've got the Enderman in there at the moment, but we've got the other one with the the wither. So if I need more, I'll make another one of these guys and kick it off and have it running, and then we'll just feed it the matrix things, prediction matrix. Uh, for now, though, I'm. Um, Working towards one of the next things, which you can see there's a whole bunch of things in my inventory here. Um, polonium pellets. Now, this is actually going to take us a while. Uh, and then we've got crystal, crystal tine here, so the crystal team, whichever one you want. Uh, flux star blocks are going to require this setup and a bunch of power to give us the flux star. Uh, but we're getting there. We, you know, we're ticking out each of these things off. Once we've got one of these, it doesn't matter. We make we make one. We're we're done. Um, like polonium itself, I don't need a ton of it. Uh, but it has like a, a. I didn't have that one. It's got a bunch of stuff that we need to process through to make sure we're getting so uh, fluorite, and we're only going to need to run sulfur through some stuff. And uh, I don't know all the uses for sulfur at the moment so i don't know whether to just convert it all into crushed sulfur but we'll see how we go but first things first i want to make the elite the auto crafting version of the elite crafting table we have all the recipes in in here to make all these tables up and i've gone ahead and made the elite crafting table and this is how you make crystal team or crystal time uh so it's a bunch of diamonds, it's a bunch of lapis, it's gold, iron, and nether star. So I just grabbed a stack of each or, or so. I grabbed a couple of nether stars, probably half of what I had. Um, and that gives us the, the crystal time ingots. So obviously this stuff, to make it into the block, we need nine. But to make some of these components, which are what I'm going to need to make the auto-crafting version, I um, only need like four of these for the moment. Uh, we're going to need some luminescence, so let's just double check. Did I recipe this guy out? I did. Did I actually recipe? No. Cool. So let's make... I'll click. Let's make the two of these. One. And jump in there, and then, you know what, you can have that. Uh, all the things. Can I have another one? Not that one, this thing. Cool. Okay, so that's the two crystal team components. I then need a couple of redstone ingots, which is just this. Grab four of them. And then I need... Roll click. Roll click. Oh, I've already got one. Let's do another one. So that's them, and we can do, what am I missing? Or, or actually don't, don't do that. Let's pick, let's throw things on the ground. Pick this guy up, pop him in there, and then control click on that one. And that gives us the auto version. So I haven't tried these guys out before. Let's just click him down and... Alright, so... Okay, so we can set 
recipes in here. So if I want this one, for example, I can grab each of those materials again. And it just needs power. Okay, cool. Let's grab you. Your uses. What else can you are literally just used to make that? Okay. So if I diamonds, gold, iron, lapis, and then nether stars, I just need two. We've got about 20 of them at the moment. Get it if you see them. Oh, I've probably got about 40. Got two of them. Cool. Let's find a place for this guy to live. Where you can get some power. This isn't to just dump things places, but sometimes. Hey, you're getting power. You have power. What I'm hoping is that I can do this and go, that's what I want, and then uh, shift and left click. That's saved. Okay, which means that if I grab them out, let me pop down here. I'd like a crafter. Regular one, please. And then a recipe. I don't know if I can do this, actually. We'll, we'll find out in just a second. Can I save this? And I want... See, it's not enough. I need... I need this to actually be... Eight diamonds, ten lapis, two gold, uh, four gold, four iron. So eight diamonds. If I go to this one and say eight diamonds, ten lapis, what do this? Just click it. No, Shh. you click it. Cool. I want for them. Four of them, and where are they? Not twenty. If I made that pattern like that, and again, it's not great. Oh, do I have my crafter? I put the crafter like that. I'll give you the recipe. All I want to see is if it actually does what I want. If it does, I'll put an importer on it. So can I have no one of these? Maybe I need to insert into the top. Hmm. What if I get a hopper? I that's there. I'll take you. 
and so I'll need an importer, but we'll try this. Try once more. I'm going to have three things in here. All right, let's get you down. That's not working at this point. Do I need to actually insert into the top, maybe? What if I... Dunk him inventory. If I take you, I can go away. Get the hopper. Actually, let's not get the hopper. Let's just go straight crafter on top. And I had it. And give him the recipe. We're going to need some power and some data, so let's just do so. Apparently, I've got to reteach it the recipe every time we move it. Do one more. All right, so how does this thing work? Because obviously this doesn't do what I want it to do. So I was hoping we could get it to force a um, an input. But then, you know, I was also hoping we could put a, maybe a hopper on top and a crafter on top of that. Smart. Doesn't it doesn't want to know, does it? So how do we interface with this? What what do I need to look into? Uh, so Try something. Does it need power? Do I actually have to have power flowing into it for it to do, for even to accept items? Right, I'll be back in just a second. All right, I think I've got it under control, but I don't think my numbers are quite right. 
Uh, so every time I try and do this, I think the actual number in this is incorrect. Um, yeah, look, it's got extras in it for some reason. Let's just take this. Something's not right. Uh, you can go on the floor. Uh, let's put the items away. So it, I think it's just down to my recipe now. So let's pop this back in here. And I don't want to redo it. There's nothing in these boxes, right? So it just should be eight diamonds. Let's get the gold. Get this and just make it. That. Okay, so it should be that is the recipe. But see how it's got extras. Four iron. Four iron. It's got it twice. Alright, what if I do it again? Yep, yeah, still comes up with something weird. It's got extra pieces. Oh, here you go. That's why. Stop looking. Right, there's still more. Maybe it always had the uh, ability to do this. Okay. Let's try that again. If I want this, I should just be able to do this and then go boop. Cool. It's 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 in the window there, but if I pop that in. I need to what, zero this one. Pop that back in here. I asked for Currently got 40. I asked for another, let's say, 10. Oop. 10. Right. I should come over here. And items are going in. Getting spread out into the table here. And it's crafting. The items I require. They're being extracted by the item pipe here and sent back down into this. And it's going into the system. So we're good. So I can get rid of that, 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 that. Okay, so we didn't, haven't got too much done so far this episode. Let's just really quickly go, I want that as a recipe, and then I can get rid of get rid of that. Cool. I can just pop this in there. Stop raining. Alright, so again, we don't need tons of them, but it's now automated. This just requires a chest to be on top of it. It doesn't require any other... It needs power for the for it to work. But it doesn't require... It's not oak, is it? That is spruce. It doesn't require any um, hopper or anything on it. It just needs... Goodness me, where is everything? It needs power and it needs a chest on top. And then you can extract through hopper, pipe, whatever, whatever your flavor is. So yeah, that's working good. All right. So I guess we need to start looking at the whole process through here. So first things first. Uh, well, if we look, I need to make polonium. So to make the polonium pellet. It requires polonium, fluorite dust, and water. It'll give us spent nuclear waste, which we're going to have to work through. So if I uh, um, waste, we're going to need some of them. Radioactive waste barrels, so that's lead and steel. So yes, it's it's a rabbit hole we're now on. So to get to polonium, I need nuclear waste. To get nuclear waste, we can either find a nuclear waste comb and just melt it down, or we can make a fission reactor. Fission reactor requires all of these items, which I've got queued up up here. And then we take fissile fuel and water, or sodium, 
and it will give us steam and nuclear waste. So steam would then get used into a turbine, I think it is. Uh, yeah, again, it's been a long time since I've used fission, but I do know that I need to make this. So let's get a recipe set up for fluorite. Um, so potentially here I might put a crafter on top of there, kind of like this is. So let's do that. Let's do. I uh, can only go through a crushing wheel or a mechanism crusher. I either set up a create system, which I could do. We haven't touched much in the way of create in this pack. Uh, same for the sulfur dust. No, I can't use create for the sulfur dust. Why? Why, everyone? Why? But I can use a pulverizer. It only gets me a one to one. Don't think there's much else. No. All right, so just pulverize recipe. So, and then I want to probably another crafter. You the one? Take a minute. And then we'll pop that up on here. Get the cable. Whatever. And then we'll pop that in there. Eventually want uh, I don't know. Crafting card might be required. Alright, so that's that. Got the pulverizer set up. So again, we're going to need a um, an electrolytic separator to turn water into hydrogen and oxygen in order to create the oxygen. We're going to need sulfur into Sulfur dioxide. So this is the first step in in a long chain. So let's get a chemical oxidizer. Cool. Thank. Chest. I'm assuming it's making this stuff. Hey, things take forever. So, what we're going to do here. You like processing it here. Yeah. Really, it's working. Yes. Okay, chemical oxidizer. Cool. 
this guy is going to take sulfur, so we're going to need an exporter. And that's going to have sulfur dust. And then, didn't take too long. Uh, I'm going to need some sort of power to pipe. Oh, I've got some. Okay, so you are going to want to export that. You are actually going to accept that. It's got power in it because it was in my inventory. And that gives us sulfur dioxide. Not run power under the ground here. Yeah. Get some energy pipes. Oh, how did I know I would fall straight in the hole? Let's see, what's the bit I'd do it again? Uh, I'm not even sure where that is. Directly underneath. Uh, how many times can I fall off the balcony? All of them, they say. All of them. All of the times. It's under here. Cool. So that's got power. And then all it will actually need will be a uh, a crafting card. If I go craft, I take that. If I pop this guy in here, that will actually start. Ideally, that should start putting sulfur in here. I mean, I'm asking for sulfur does. And sulfur. So I'm the impression that it would do its thing and then maybe this is the wrong way around. It needs to be a red. There we go. Cool. So it's turning into sulfur dioxide, which uses the sulfur dioxide is in a chemical infuser. So if I make a chemical infuser and put it here, so let's do that really quickly. I think we're getting near the end of the episode, so I'll have to wrap up shortly. Make two tanks. Fuser. One of them. Now, if I take this guy and pop him there, you'll be getting sulfur dioxide in one side. Yeah. Sulfur dioxide and oxygen, so I need to put the separator this side. This will need power underneath it, which we worked out just before. And if I get the electrolytic separator,
is unfortunate. Let's grab the need. Why not take a separator? That's fine. Well, cool. that's the core. Yeah. This is a separator. Oh, my pipe. If I then put the separator there and have blue that side, that's cool. It's got power. I've got water under here somewhere. There it is. It's going to need to pop up. Yeah. So hydrogen is the blue. Ooh, what do you have on your side? Yeah, the brown side. Cool. So you need to have a gases or fluids. Project on. Blue and cyan. Come on. Yeah. Input. Blue. Oh, maybe it needs to be liquid. Oh, I might need to... Uh... Oh, it's just electrolytic separator. Oh, am I trying to push hydrogen in here? Nope. Uh, you are not dumping excess. Let's rotate you around so you're cyan and you're blue uh, on gases. Yeah. Being oxygen in, we're making sulfur trioxide. Uh, hydrogen probably needs to just dump excess for the moment. So we have sulfur dioxide happening. We've got oxygen happening. We've got sulfur trioxide happening the next thing is to make sulfuric acid which requires the trioxide and water vapor so this one should have the trioxide coming out here so if we then get another chemical infuser and pop it here and then get water vapor. We'll have to vaporize water. Oh, we'll be able to uh, continue with our little compact system here. Uh, looking at the time though, it is time to wrap up. So we've got to start. We've got uh, sulfuric acid or so sulfur trioxide happening. 
Um, hydrogen is being dumped. We may be able to capture that news in something else, but this is a start. We've got power going to the things. We've got uh, an automated setup to make these guys. Um, but yeah, sorry about the derping around earlier. I've managed to work it out eventually. It helps if you read the manual right. Um, and literally I did read the manual. It's right here. And it tells you to Insert insertion is done by simply placing a chest above the table. Cool. Uh, but yeah, next episode we'll continue down the polonium route to get all the fission stuff. I'll probably, if I'm going to make a fission reactor, it's going to be over there somewhere. It's not going to be in my base here because they will make a mess. But I don't need to run it for long. This is just this is just to get the fissile fuel so I can run up to create waste to create polonium. Ugh, it's a rabbit hole. Anyway, until next time, thank you again for watching. Leave comments down below. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.